So hey guys, I guess from time to time you may think to yourself, well, I have this amazing machine at home, I would like to code and work on my data science projects from my laptop in a coffee shop. How do I do that? Well, there's quite an easy way to do it and today I'm gonna show it to you. So first of all, you just need to clone this exact repository. I'll give you the link in the description. It's from a guy named Stanislas. Uh, great war, by the way. And yeah, after cloning it, there's just a few steps provided, but I will go with you through the default. So after cloning the repository, you just uh, change the other directory to the place there is cloned. And then you need to change the execution file to be executable. You'll need to use root for that. And afterwards, well, that's most of the work actually. Just install it as root. So yeah, it reads my IP address correctly. And then if it asks you to provide the APV4, you can just head to your router or to, let's say, what is my IP? What is my IP? Yep. Copy that, paste it here. No, default, default, default. No one wants yeah default. And that's pretty much it. Now you just name your client. I won't use a password. And yeah, on your home PC side, it's pretty much it. All you need to do now is to get to your router and check if the If the IP address is forwarded to your uh, home PC, you can do that. At least in my case, here. So yeah, I just did it for DMZ. But there's another other ways to do that, of course. But you need to check that your IP is forwarded to your PC to successfully connect to your computer. Yeah, SSH. After you're done, you can just move the file that it's, it created. So it will create the file in your home directory. So you can check that. Oh, new keyboard. Yeah, so it's there. Uh, then move it to your laptop and Let's switch to it to check how that works. So now I'm at my laptop and we can just connect it to, to my PC. Uh, first of all, you need to actually connect to VPN. So just edit connections. Yeah, hopefully you have a network manager or something similar to that. Or you can just do it through the command line if you want to. Yeah, so just choose from file, create, here we go, no, I need the 23 version, yeah, cool, save, now that's done, and just connect to it. VPN connection has been successfully established. So what do you do now is SSH to your home PC. Yeah, so we'll run the Docker daemon in the root access. Cool. We'll do the same here. 
and and run the IPython service. Cool. So to run it, I need to go here. I just ran it from a script. It's easier for me. Yeah, seems to work fine. If you want to see the command that's in there, uh, we can just do this. Oh, haven't connected. Yeah. Yep, and the command is here. Cool. So it's all up and running. Uh, this link won't help us much, but what will is the IP address of our home PC. So we can just copy that, go to our selection of browsers and input yeah it's yeah it always happens like that doesn't this cool enter a password if you have one boom you here and then you can just go and do whatever you like now Yep, so as you can see, everything is working and connected. And yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to tell much more about that. So before I go, I just figured I'll uh, go through some consistent issues that I had uh, with setting up the OpenVPN and SSH to connect to my home PC. So first one of those is that VPN just doesn't connect at all. And why is that? So most likely you either didn't input the correct IP in the settings when you install the OpenVPN service, or it might be that you didn't forward your IP from your router to your home PC. So these are the most two common issues that might happen. Well, at least I guess so, mm, based on the responses in the forums and whatnot. Uh, to check if it's actually installed and running, just you know to make sure, what you could do is just run this and yeah just check for 10 zero so if it's running it it should it should be there now as for the SSH, ssh itself so you're connecting through port 22 if if you don't actually describe it differently so if it refuses to connect and just says port 22 22 is refused uh, you need to check your firewall settings and you actually need to check if your SSH daemon is actually running. Uh, so we can sort out the firewall settings first because it's the easiest one. All you do is, well, most likely if you're using Linux and if you're not, so I'm not really much of a help here, but if you are, uh, all you need to do is just uh, allow the usage of that port yeah it, so it skipped the rule because uh, it's already been added uh, I use UFW which stands for uncomplicated firewall most likely you use the same as I said if you use Linux and yeah if you added that you tried rebooting you know and just messing around with the VPN and SSH and it still doesn't, doesn't connect, well, there might be a possibility that your SSH daemon isn't really running. Uh, to check the status of it, you can just do exactly that. So you need root 
of course, for all of this, but yeah, just run this. And authentication failure. Oh, that's for the, well, if it's running, it will get the output that's running. And yeah, so here it is. It's active running and it's loaded. So yeah, you get the idea. And if it's not, then you need to enable it and and actually start it. That that's that's all it is. So instead of status, you use enable here, and then you just start it. Yeah. So that's all. That should solve most of your problems. If not, uh, try to leave a comment. And if someone leaves a comment and you find a solution for it, respond to it. Be, be kind to other people. So thanks again for watching. Uh, if you liked it, then like it, subscribe it. If you didn't, then yeah, you didn't, it's fine. And hope to see you soon for another video. Bye.